guys, so it is time for episode three of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you guys have been enjoying thus far. I know I have. I am so sorry I realized this after I uploaded my episode two that I completely cut off the portion of the game where you find uh, Faith's head, now that we know her name's Faith's. Uh, she's actually dead. <laughs> Through editing error, I thought it was gonna be in the second one, so I cut it out of the first one. And then afterwards, I thought it was in the first one, so I cut it out of the second one. Ah, stupidity. Stupidity rampant. Anyways, we're gonna play episode three. I'm so sorry for ruining that for you guys, but so far you guys have been enjoying this, so we're gonna continue. Right now, we just caught the guy who wanted to see Faith's husband. Now I'm forgetting his name. Wanted to see him dead. So, we'll see what's going on. Hey! Yeah! Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Who are you? Let me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. You look Oh my god, his head is huge. Right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. Hmm. What, what are you doing, back, doing there? back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Yeah. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm D. He's dumb. Yeah! Oh, oh snap. Oh, snap. I knew that was going to happen. Who guessed it? I oh, did. Hot snow. Kiss me. I need CPR. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. By the way, sorry, with Ali is playing with, with your head. my makeup brushes. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Hand sanitizer. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Oh, I forgot about Toad. Oh, I hope Toad's all right. I'm sure he is. We would have heard about it by now if something bad happened. Hopefully. And he <laughs> ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Oh my god. It took out like the wall. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Hmm. Hmm. Should we be going this way? Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? I absolutely will. Don't hey, you worry. Hey, Toad, you in there? Watch this, I'm gonna impress Snow. She's gonna wanna have babies with me. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, oh, no. you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. Are you sure there wasn't mm -hmm. anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. <laughs> and if there was, they didn't take nothing. So, you know, all's well that ends. Is your son in there? 
Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Sorry, Toad. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? Toad Jr. <laughs> there you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Good with kids. Should be a, a good Just wife. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. What's up with this? The lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Mm -hmm. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Oh, but the door kicked in, Toad. What aren't you telling us? Hmm. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Hmm. We're gonna wait to talk to Mr. Toad. Yep, that there's blood. You bleeding? Why? Is that blood? Still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Ah. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Ah! Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. I'm sure. I'm sure it was. Doesn't make much sense, does it, Toad? Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. It looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. I know you're lying about something, but I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Hmm. Wonder how Snow's doing. Anything over here? That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Lamp. Absolutely lamp. 
Bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I never tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Outfit, it's my own place. Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? I saw that what earlier. Plugged in over here. Brain now power! I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And to not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Toad, why are you trying to hide? Ah, that's what the real question is. We obviously know he's lying. Why? Why was he lying? Who is he covering for? Those scratch marks? There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Is that why he's crying, Toad? Hmm? Is that the excuse you're going to give us? You were the... The new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Yeah, the door's busted in. But you wouldn't need keys. The lock's broken. Hi. So why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth? Yeah, though. Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. You oh, lied. These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh no. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. No. Take off the hat. Ellie's upset about it. Trust me. Aww. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had. I don't know. He tore up the place. Beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad <gasps> Jr. Uh -uh. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he'd done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. You know where the Tweedle I'm sorry. went? You mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but... He said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. 
but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Aww. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. <laughs> Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Oh, it's gonna be that special fur that hid her. Fine bit of dress it is. From her father. I'm sorry, I keep calling out all these secret things, but I'm a smart lady, everyone. Yep. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. <gasps> what is it? Mysterious object. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence did. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I feel like I've I'd done this out of order. Out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. He's so cute. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. They really are cute. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Achievement unlocked. Hey. I'm walking here. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. Yeah. There's still a lot of questions. It's the most logical one. Find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. <laughs> Thanks, Snow. I appreciate your support. Good job. You're doing I wish a there really was. I just... No. Why? Why? Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. 
to have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Aww. <laughs> I don't know. Now cuddle me. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> I really like their relationship. I really hope it works out. And then I don't Maybe really screw it up. Maybe you handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> what if it was like option? Let snow handle it. Stay in the cab. Have fun. Big B. I um, just be careful, please. Always, or you too, always. Always. Aww. You're so cute. If Snow gets killed, I'm done with this game. Disclaimer. Wolf Among Us will be over. <laughs> Maybe. After I venture death. Alright guys, so that is it for episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment below if you have anything intriguing to say about the game. Please, start a conversation. I love reading your comments and it makes my day. So feel free to do that. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys for the next episode of The Wolf Among Us. Also, don't forget to comment below and leave any suggestions for future games you want to see. I've seen Grand Theft Auto, I've seen the new Walking Dead series, I've seen reviews on Pokemon. Mm, lots of things that I've written down on a list, but I always need more ideas. So don't forget to leave them below and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Bye!